Hello everyone. My name is Pranvi Pulipaka and I am a student of IV Professional School. So today we are going to learn something about tornado charts used in Tableau. So what is a tornado chart? Tornado charts or otherwise known as butterfly charts are a special type of bar chart where the data categories are listed vertically instead of the standard horizontal presentation and the categories are ordered so that the largest bar appears at the top of the chart, the second largest appears second from the top and so on. The name comes from the shape of the chart where it compares two associated measures side by side. The butterfly chart or also known as a tornado chart gives a quick glance view of the difference between two groups with the same parameters. For example, if you want to compare the female and male population, then tornado charts are the best visualization. Otherwise, if you want to compare the academic performances between two income groups, that is low and high, there also we can use tornado chart. So let us see what are the advantages of a tornado chart. Well, these are few of the visualization how exactly a tornado chart looks like. Now let us see the advantages of a tornado chart. They provide a visual representation of the relative importance of each input parameter, making it easier to compare the relative effects of each parameter on the output. They are relatively easy to create and can be used to show the effects of varying parameter on the output in a single diagram. They can be used to identify relationships between input parameters which can be used to develop a better understanding of the model. So let us see what are the limitations. They are limited to only two variables and cannot analyze multiple variables at once. They cannot show the interaction between multiple variables and the effect of their relative values on the output. They do not show any absolute values, so it can be difficult to interpret the results accurately. So this was all about a tornado chart. Where can we apply uh, the tornado chart? What are the uses, applications and limitations of a tornado chart? How to make a tornado chart in Tableau? So let us look at the data. The data is already imported into my Tableau workbook and it tells us about the population of male and population of female in different states of India. This data is taken from Kegel.com. So let us build a tornado chart. So our objective is to analyze the gender split of different states of India. So for that, uh, first we are going to drag the state field into the row shell and then the female population into the column shell and similarly the male population into the column shell. Then I'm going to flip edit axis for the female population. I'm going to reverse and then I'm going to sort it. So there we have a basic structure of a tornado chart. Now I'm going to differentiate between female population and male population. Under the marks card of female population, I'm going to give them a different color. And similarly for male. I'm going to give them a different color, right? So we have a basic tornado chart which tells us the difference between male population, sorry, male population and female population. Now, in order to add a depth in the analysis, I'm going to compare the male population and female population with the total population. So I'm going to drag the total population and put it on the bar chart area of the female population and similarly I'm going to drag the total population and put it in the bar chart area of the male population. Under the marks card of all, I'm going to change all the charts into a bar chart, right? I'm going to synchronize the chart for the total population as well as the population of male and female and we see is, what we see is uh, the chart has turned gray 
we are not able to differentiate between male and female. Why? Because the total population is lying upon the sum of the population of female and that of male. So, in order to uncover that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag the total population and rearrange and put it in front of the total population of female. And similarly for male, I'm going to do the same thing. Right? Now we can see the color have popped up. Now the only thing left to do is to again edit the axis and reverse it. So there we go. So here the gray area represents the total population, the pink area represents the population of female. And the green area represents the population of male. So, some of the formatting we can do is we can get rid of the headers, right? And what I've done here is I've created a calculated field to find the percentage of female, right? That is, sum of the population of female upon the total population. And similarly, I've created the percentage of male also. And I've put both the calculated field under the tooltip of the total population. So after doing a bit of formatting and everything, my final dashboard looks something like this, right? Wherein, if I hover upon any of the states, so for example, Uttar Pradesh, so we what we can see is the population of male in Uttar Pradesh is 13.4 million, which is 53% of the total population, that is 25.3 million of the state. And if I put only on the green area, I can see the solely the population of male. If I hover only upon the pink area, I can see the population of female. Whereas if I hover upon the gray area, I can see the percentage of female in that particular state. So this was all about the tornado chart. I hope you like this video. Thank you.